everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Jason this is the final week of Carl's Bean Tackle 10th anniversary week number five let's jump into it as always I'll leave all the information about Carl's Bean Tackle at the bottom of the page or in the description and here we go liquid mayhem little uh, swim minnows don't use them so here we go got a little uh, this is a ghost clown like a miniature dark bait from Dynamics. Pretty nice there. Nice little spinner bait for those nice little. Uh, I'm gonna go for a bluegill or a trout. Well, this is nice. This is a 3.5 inch tickle tail fire crawl. This will look really good behind my chatterbait or scrounder. That's pretty nice. That's a cool color. I'll definitely put that over here. Here's a Winston floating 4 inch half ounce top water. Floating Ghost Hunter. Oh, that's nice, actually. It's real nice. Go ahead and open this here from Winston. Winston does have some pretty good baits. I'm not going to lie. They're actually pretty decent. <clears throat> here we go. Look at that. Look at that nice little... Nice little rattle. Little translucent with the white. Nice little top water bait. Might use that here. Hopefully uh, soon. Um, it's getting uh, close to that fall transition period. So I'm not going to use that. So I'll put that over here where I can use it. These would be my go to's. These would be not so much. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. We wanted to get one of these. This is a cycle bait. 10,000 fish cycle bait. Black and blue. It's kind of like your spinner bait. Gives it a different technique, though, of a spinner bait. So that's pretty cool. That'll definitely go on that side. Here is a Yoziri 3D Vibes. This is your lipless crankbait. Pretty nice lipless. Good line of tie. It was always good hooks that they have. I don't know what kind of hooks they use, but they usually they're pretty sharp. But look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's nice. Very nice. That's your Ziri lipless crankbait divides. I've had one or two of those. I haven't cut anything off of it. Here is a filthy frog, which is really good for this lake that I'm at right now. I'll be fishing here. There's a lot of moss, a lot of cover. This one will definitely get put to the test today. Actually, we'll tie this on here in a little bit. It's a nice filthy frog. This is the bullfrog. To it. Oh, I like that bottom. Look at that. That Guggen Squad. The Guggen Squad things. Look at that. I like the color to it. Nice little walking, walking the frog content. Definitely, definitely put some work with the uh, with the frogs. I haven't done a whole lot of frogging this year. I've been out much this year. So we'll put that one over there. Next up is this Junior Scout. 
This is the Sexy Shad Junior Scout. Obviously your typical jerk bait, three to five feet, three eighths ounce. Very nice, well, three and a half inch jerk bait. It'll work really good. This one is really cool, I like this. This is the Flat Manger. Okay, this is your three to six feet deep, a half ounce flat banger this is going to be your cosmo shad i like that color that's a beautiful color i like that color oh these are really good here we go bio spawn this was lacking at the other box surprised that they didn't put any in the other boxes this is the uh these are really good for trailers i use these a lot for trailers so there you go the bio spawn black and blue 3.5 inch little crawls that's pretty cool put that over on that side next up is a jig that's pretty neat excite baits jig nice little swim jig looks like a stand-up jig actually kind of like a football head anyway quarter ounce little swim jig Got something else for the uh, trout and the bluegill lovers. And then last but not least, weirdest color I've ever seen of a worm. It's a pre-rigged Nico style. Perfection lures. Morning dawn, I presume. Pinky tinky. That is a weird, 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 weird. Uh, color anyway so it's got the weight but no weight up front it's already it's already there and they use a metal split ring that is it again Carl's Bane Tackle 10th anniversary week number five I believe this is the last week uh, if there is one more week I'm not gonna get it I'm over getting these items so we have the pre-rig Nico. We have a it looks like a cast master for trout. We have a little jerk bait here. We have a little swim minnow sunfish liquid mayhem that we'll not use. We have an inline spinner that we will not use. We have a jig that I would use from Excite Baits, the reflux. We have the quote unquote filthy frog here that I will definitely use today. Let's see what kind of frogs I have in my my tackle box. Here we got the nice little EXO flat banger. Junior scouts okay. I already got plenty of those. This is a good top water. Open water, top water. Lure here. Water, top water. 10,000 fish. Obviously, the cycle bait. There we go. I mean, we got the, the frog I will use today. We got the tickle tails, the little three point fire crawl tickle tails. We got a cycle bait here. Exo spawn. Exo pod. 3.5 inch crawl. Those will work really good in muddy water. This one will also work really good in muddy water. So flat banger. The Winston spot on top water lure. It's a little spit and chug. And of course my favorite. Oh, sorry. We have the uh, sexy prism, sexy shad. That'll probably work really good. But my favorite is definitely the frog lure. Anyway. Let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite. Uh, I always ask that question. I always like talking tackle to you. I'm going to thank each and every one of you for clicking on this video. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. You can share this out to your people. And as always, thank you. God bless. Tight lines. We are out of here. Peace.